You're looking for app ideas in all the wrong places. Profitable app ideas are not hiding in your code. They're hiding in plain sight at dinner parties and social gatherings. And I'm about to show you how to discover them and which ideas will actually be profitable. This strategy has helped me build an app portfolio that's projected to earn a million dollars this year. I call it the party to product pipeline strategy or PPP for short. So there I am at a kid's birthday party. The parents are standing around trying to make awkward chit chat and find common ground. And in the corner is this beautiful piano. As I'm chatting with one of the fathers, someone gets up and they start to play. And in that moment, everybody in the room, including the kids that were crazy, running around, stopped. The dad that I was talking to turned around to me and said, I wish I could play the piano like that. This was the seed to one of my most ambitious and exciting app projects yet. And the first step in my party to product strategy. I call this the ears method. Eavesdrop at parties and gatherings. Analyze what people really mean. Record those golden moments and spot patterns to find recurring problems. So the first thing I do is listen. Listen to other perspectives and other people living very different lives than me. We're kind of in a little bit of a bubble where we all know about AI and we all know about the latest tech and this is our world. But when you go to a dinner party or you go to a social event, you'll end up talking with people and discovering interests and ideas that you hadn't even considered and that you hadn't even anticipated. And I heard this phrase over and over at different dinner parties, in different settings, around different sorts of people. So I write it down. Next, look at ways to turn their need into a product. When people say they can't come up with ideas, this is the step that they're actually struggling with. You don't build what they're actually asking for. You dig a little bit deeper. So we go back to that conversation. I wish I could play the piano at parties. What he's actually saying is, I want to impress my friends with a couple of songs that I can play on the piano without spending years of my life learning about music theory. What they're actually asking for is a fast way to learn the piano that's fun, doesn't take up a lot of time, and they can learn and memorize a song or two quickly. And this is why most apps fail. Developers are focusing on the wrong problems. It's easy to look at a problem at the surface level without going down that deeper level to the psychology to work out the why or what's the motivator deep down inside that's making someone want to carry on to download your app, to use your product. What is that core need that they're yearning for? Master this technique and you've mastered the art of coming up with profitable app ideas. In steps one, we found the idea. In step two, we found the reason behind the idea, the motivator. In step three, I want to validate whether it's even worthwhile spending the next few weeks or the next few months even building this thing. And my first step is to look at app store keywords. Type in some keywords that I would use to find the app that I'm building and then have a look at the popularity to see how many people are actually searching for this keyword. I use Astro to research keywords. If the number is low, it's probably not an idea worth pursuing or find a different angle. And if you're relying on App Store optimization as your primary user acquisition channel, the competition field here is crucial. The lower, the better. But don't stop there. The next time I'm at a dinner party or I'm out with friends, I'll flag the idea and see if I can get them excited about the idea. Hey, wouldn't it be cool to learn the piano in a couple of days without knowing anything about music therapy, being a complete novice? And then gauge their reaction. If people get excited and motivated, then you're onto a winner. Another technique that I'm using at the moment is short form content marketing. And I'm at the very early days of working out how this works, how to advertise your app on TikTok, on Shorts, on Reels. And in the process, I'm getting my social media accounts 
warmed up. This is the process of priming the accounts to teach the algorithm what keywords I'm targeting and to post content that's relative to the target audience of my app. Let me know if short form content marketing strategy is something you'd like me to cover in a future video. So my content strategy is to show my day-to-day -day progress, playing the piano every day until I don't suck. Day seven, piano speed run. Learning a specific song on the piano with my app in view. And some of these YouTube shorts are already getting more views than any of the shorts have had on my main channel. With many people already asking, what app is that? 